hey guys you welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you a remedy to slow down the aging process because the aging process cannot be stopped but sure we can slow down the aging process and um i'm going to be using some ingredients that are easy to come by things you can easily find at home um so before we go right into the video today you welcome back to my channel if it's your first time stopping by Thank you very much for stopping by. If you've always been there, oh, thank you so much for always being there. This regimen we won't talk about today can do a lot of things for you. It can tighten your pores if you have um, loose pores like open pores. When you have open pores, your skin is prone to acne, like death can easily go in. This will help you tighten your pores. This will help you lift your face, right? So if you, your face is sagging already or you're already looking older than your age, this um, remedy is really going to help you. And if you have wrinkles, this remedy is going to help you. So if you want to know how to do this, just keep watching this video to the end to get it at every step of the way. So the first thing uh, I'm going to be introducing to the ingredients and how we are going to use them first. We're going to be needing uh, an empty, uh, you can use a bowl, you can use a cup, something that's clean. I've cleansed this already and we're going to be needing some rice, right? So I have some rice here. This rice I blended and I got the flour. So you can also buy rice flour from the market. You can decide to get your rice like cook your rice when you cook the rice you blend it and use that um, puree or um, you can decide to use tachi water like you soak the water like you soak the rice in water then you get the starch out of it you can also do that now the statue um, the starch that comes out of rice is very very beneficial to your skin to your hair and all of that I have some videos um, up on my channel that I've talked about using rice, so that's that. So what I'm going to be doing, I am not making, I'm not taking any specific measurement. All I'm going to be doing is just to get the quantity. But I deem fit is enough. So I'm going to be getting some rice flour. Yeah. So... here so we have some rice flour here the next thing i will need is egg white so i broke my egg and separated the yolk from the white already so what this does for you this is going to help tighten your pores like all of these ingredients individually has a lot of benefit for your skin imagine adding everything together so i'm going to be getting a teaspoon of this for this quantity of rice a teaspoon won't be enough so I will be um, adding another teaspoon to it so after this I'm going to stir first to see if um, this goes well so I'll just stir So I'm going to be adding another teaspoon of egg white to this. I really want the egg white to come out. Even if the next ingredient is still watery like this. I want the egg white to come out because this will really, really help you uh, tighten your loose pores. And that is that. So we're going to stir very well so this is the consistency that we have so if you cook your rice and you uh, blend it it's still going to come out like this if you use your um, starch water from the rice it's still excellent so this is what we have we have a puree out of rice 
flour and um, egg white. So the next thing we are going to need is milk. This is powdered milk that I mixed here. So milk is very beneficial to the skin. So I'm going to be adding three teaspoons of the milk. So whether you drink milk or you use it for home remedies like this, like it's superb. You want to get a consistency that's like this. And um, for instance, if you finish using this, and you have some leftover, you can store in the refrigerator and you bring it out whenever you want to use it again, then you stir properly because when you leave it, it's going to like settle down. So you want to stir very well before you use. Now the next thing we are going to do, get a wipes or you wash your face with your facial soap and water but make sure that your face is cleaned before you apply this on your face so you want to cleanse your face properly when you cleanse your face the pores will be open you need to open up your face remove every dirt from your face and allow the ingredients to um, sink in and work properly So after cleansing your face, now I've used my face ball. I have some makeup up on my face. So I'm going to be using my hand as an example. So what you want to do is to apply on your face and use your hands to massage it. Now, another advantage of blending your rice yourself is that it also serves as a scrub. So you can see this as you're doing this is also getting rid of dead skin cells. So I'm going to scrub this continuously. If I used a rice puree like I boiled and blended my rice, it would have been really, really smooth. So all I just have to do is to apply on my skin and let it dry. But this I blended so I have some particles here that also serve as a scrub. After that, I'm just going to leave this to dry. So if you're doing this, you leave this for about 35 to 40 minutes. I don't really have that patient right now. Uh, I'd, I'd stay for it to get dried and I'll come back to you. But what you do, leave it for 30 to 45 minutes. It should have been dry and because of the egg white that's inside it's going to be kind of draggy like it's going to drag your skin after then you can wash off in the bathroom so try this out and let me know how it works for you i hope this video has been helpful if it has been helpful you don't want to forget to give this video a thumb up and you don't want to forget to subscribe to my channel before you check out i'll see you guys in my next video but like come here again origin but it's the pretty because everything is pretty, pretty, pretty. Bye.